everyone in this video i'm going to teach you how to estimate the square root of a whole number to the nearest hundreds so for example we are going to estimate the square root of 5 to the nearest hundred so the first step is find the two consecutive perfect square which the square root of 5 lies the last video ko, tinuro ko sa inyo kung paano ba malalaman if ang given uh, number is a perfect square. So ngayon, kailangan nating malaman kung ano yung dalawang magkasunod na perfect square kung saan yung square root of 5 ay uh, nakapagitan or makikita. Now, we all know that square root of 5 is between square root of 4 and square root of 9 and we all know that square root of 4 is equal to 2 and the square root of 9 is equal to 3 which means that the square root of 5 lies between 2 and 3 ibig sabihin yung square root ng 5 ay nasa pagitan ng 2 and 3 Therefore, the whole number that we're going to use is the square root of the lower perfect square. So, ito lagi ang ating tatandaan ha. Kapag kinukuha natin yung square root ng isang number na hindi perfect square, ang, ang whole number na gagamitin natin ay yung square root ng lower perfect square. Lagi yon yung lower perfect square. So, for example, dito sa given natin, 4 at saka yung 9 yung perfect square, di ba? So, yung lower daw ang gagamitin natin. So, yung 4 yon So, ano ba yung square root ng 4? 2. So, dito, sa square root of 5, yung whole number natin ay 2. Tapos, ahanapin natin ngayon yung kanyang uh, decimal number. Kasi ang hinahanap natin ay nearest hundreds. Now, after natin malaman kung ano yung dalawang magkasunod na perfect square, kapag nakuha na natin yon, proceed tayo sa step number 2. So, estimate the square root to the nearest hundred. Now, we already know that square root of 5 is between 2 and 3. But, we are going to get the square root of 5 to the nearest hundreds. So, I have here a number line. I'm going to plot the square root of 4 and square root of 9. So, ito yon. And we all know that square root of 4 is equal to 2. And the square root of 9 is equal to 3. And in between of that is the square root of 5 and the other numbers. Now, how can we know what number we are going to add to the whole number, which is 2, to get the estimate of square root of 5 to the nearest 100? So, ito lagi niyong tatandaan. If the number is closer to the lower perfect square, begin adding 0 0.10 to 0 0.40 to the whole number. So, ibig sabihin, kapag ang square root of 5 ay mas malapit kay 4 or kay square root of 4, ang gagawin natin, di ba yung whole number natin kanina ay 2. So, mag a tayo kay 2 ng 0 0.10 to 0 0.40. So, iisa-isahin natin yan. So, malalaman nyo yan mamaya. Magbibigay ako ng example. And then, if the number is closer to the higher perfect square, begin adding 0 0.90 to 0 0.50 to the whole number. So, ito naman, kapag ang square root of 5 ay mas malapit sa square root of 9, ang gagawin naman natin ay mag a tayo ng 0 0.90 papunta kay 0 0.50. So, based on the number line, Saan mas malapit si square root of 5? Correct! It is square root of 4. So, ibig sabihin, mag a tayo ng 0 0.10 pataas kay 2. So, to understand it further, I have here a table. Let x be the estimated number. 
So, magta-trial and error tayo dito ha to come up with the correct answer. And then, x square to see if it is the square root of the given number. And our target is 5. As I said earlier, we use the whole number 2, then mag a tayo ng 0 0.10 hanggang 0 0.40. Kasi yung square root of 5 is closer to the lower perfect square, which is the 2. So, 2 plus 0 0.10 is equal to 2.10. So, gagamitin natin ngayon si 2.10. Try natin ha. So, if you are going to square the 2.10, it will become 4.41. Pag sinabi natin square, imumultiply natin siya sa sarili niya. So, 2.10 times 2.10 is equal to 4.41. Ang target natin ay 5. Closer to 5 naman na siya. Pero, kailangan natin makuha yung talagang mas closer o kaya e-exacto sa 5. Okay? Next is, try na natin yung 2.20. So, if you are going to square 2.20, it will become 4.84. It is also closer to 5. How about if we use 2.30? Again, we are going to get the square of 2.30. Uulitin ko. Pag sinabing square, you are going to multiply it sa sarili niya. So, 2.30 times 2.30 is equal to 5.29 and it is exceed to 5. So, mobra na siya. So, hindi na natin siya pwedeng gamitin. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya, hindi siya yung sagot na hinahanap natin. Kasi lumagpas na siya kay 5. So, balik tayo kay 2.30. 20. So, ang gagawin lang natin, mag plus 1 lang tayo doon muna. Pa isa-isa ulit. Trial and error ulit tayo. So, we are going to try 2.21. And, if you are going to square 2.21, this will be the answer. And, it is closer to 5. Let's try another one. Baka, mas may, mas malapit pa sa 2.21 So, now let's try 2 and 2200 or 2.22 So, this will be the answer and it is very close to 5 Now, another one Try pa ulit tayo 2.23 So, if we are going to square this it will be the answer and it is also very close to 5 Now, let's try 2.24 If we get the square of 2.24 It will be the answer And it is exceed to 5 So now let's go back to 2.23 mag add ulit tayo ngayon Pero ang gagawin ko Hindi na ako start sa 1 ha Kasi alam ko may mas malapit pa ulit eh Okay so you can try 2.231 uh, Pero ako gagamitin ko na yung 2.236 and the answer or the square of this uh, x or the given is this one. So, it is very close to 5. So, as you can see, hindi na tayo pwedeng magtaas pa dito kasi ang magiging result nito ay kapag tinaas pa natin ng 2.237, lalagpas na siya sa 5. So, from 2.231 to 2.235, it is still very close to 5. But, 2.236 or 2 and 236,000 is the closest. And we need to round it off to the nearest 100. So, therefore, the square root of 5 is equal to 2 and 24,000. Hundreds. Another example is estimate the square root of 40 to the nearest hundreds. So, first, find the two consecutive perfect square which the square root of 40 lies. So, maghahanap ulit tayo ng dalawang perfect square. So, we all know that square root of 40 is between square root of 36 and 
square root of 49 and the square root of 36 is equal to 6 and the square root of 49 is equal to 7 which means that the square root of 40 lies between 6 and 7 now saan tayo magsisimulang mag-add ng decimal point yes sa 6 and since Square root of 40 is closer to 36. We begin adding 0 0.10 to 0 0.40 to the whole number which is 6. So let's use again the table. Our target here is 40. Now let's try 6.10 or 6 and 10 hundreds. So, if we are going to square this, it will become 37 and 21 hundreds or 37.21. It is close to the target which is 40 but maybe there is a uh, much closer to 40. So, let's try 6.20 or 6 and 20 hundreds. And if we are going to square this, the answer is 38 and 44 hundreds or 38.44 and it is also close to 40. Now let's try 6.30. The square of 6.30 is equal to 39 and 69 hundreds and it is closer to 40. How about if we used 6.40? The answer is 40.96 or 40 and 96 hundreds and it is exceed to 40. Lumagpas na siya. So let's go back to 6.30. Mag-add tayo ng 1. Try natin yung 6.31 or 6 and 31 hundreds. And if we are going to square this, the answer is this one. And it is very close to 40. How about if we use 6.32? So, the answer will be this one. And it is also very close to 40. How about 6.33? Or 6 and 33 hundreds. This will be the answer. And it is exceed to 40. So, let's go back to 6 and 32 hundreds. Or 6.32. Try natin mag-add ng 1. So, 6.31, 6.32, pa-ataas ulit. Pero ako, ang gagamitin ko na dito ay yung 6 and 324,000 or 6.324 para hindi na mas humaba pa. Okay, so, the square of this is this one. And it is very close to 40. Mapapansin nyo, hindi na tayo pwedeng mag uh, tuloy pa. Kasi if we are going to use 6.325, mag -e exit na tayo sa 40. So, stop na tayo dito sa 6.324. So, always remember na, so from 6.321 to 6.323, it is still very close to 40. But, 6.324 is the closest. And we need to round it to the nearest so, therefore, square root of 40 is equal to 4.32 or 4 and 32 hundreds. Now, it's your turn. You can pause the video to answer the activity. Estimate the square root of the nearest hundred. Now, let's check. So, that's all for today. Next lesson, subsets of real numbers. Thank you for watching.